scientific advancements mean that we might see spider factories built all over the world so we can harvest spider silk? Why, you might ask. Nanotechnician, scientist Michelle Dickinson is here to tell us. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. You've got two spider things, but this first one's interesting. So um, spider silk, we know, is extraordinarily strong, yep. but we now know how to make it stronger. Genius, right? So take the thing that's naturally one of the strongest materials and then take carbon nanotubes, which are man-made one of the strongest materials, feed it to the spiders... So now they make webs with nanotubes. It in sounds it. so easy. It does. And Is it, it was sort of, well, yeah, they, if you read the paper, they literally just took a can, sprayed some water with some nanotubes onto a spider, and then let them make a web anyway. So, what are these nanotubes? What are they? So, carbon nanotubes are basically um, carbon that's assembled into a little tube shape, literally, but it's about uh, 10,000 times smaller than the width of your hair, each mm -hmm. one. They also tried using graphene, which is sheets of carbon. Um, together at the atomic scale and the spiders just seem to and it's not conclusive lap it up eat it spin it into a web so as long as you're feeding them enough because obviously they don't make it in their body as long right. as that's all they eat they didn't even feed them they just sprayed it onto their bodies now they did this with 15 spiders they went to the country 15 up, they went to the well, country sound like very many spiders. collected spiders from like the countryside put them in tupperware boxes took them back sprayed them four died sadly the, some of them didn't spin good webs but of the four that did they were stronger than anything that's really been measured before at this scale i mean it's quite hard to measure the yeah. strength and toughness of uh, so they were about three and a half times stronger than the silk itself yeah. Yeah. Which is extraordinary. Which is extraordinary. So how far away from turning that into something that's usable, do you think? Well, first of all, they need to figure out how these spiders are doing it. Second of all, we need to figure out where the nanotubes are in there. They use this technique called Raman spectroscopy to try and figure out there are nanotubes in there, but how they're assembled, we don't yet know. So a lot of basic research. Okay. And then why not just have a spider farm? Apart okay. from that's spiders... That's going to be a while, isn't well, it? Well, spiders eat each other, so it would have to be like an enclosed farm. Okay. Now, it's interesting that you talk about spiders eating each other because we've just had Mother's Day. We have. And you have this yarn, this particular spider whose name is escapes me. Um, the mother spider, lineatus. That's the one. Um, the mother spider gives birth and then allows her babies to eat her. Happy Mother's Day. Isn't that the most sacrificial mother thing you could do? Yeah, so research out <laughs> this week talks about this, this species of spider who... Uh, grows up her babies in a little web. When she's ready for them to come out, she opens the web for them, lets them come out, and then she starts to digest her own stomach system mm. and then sort of vomit it out through her guts. The baby spiders come up to her and then start eating it, and they get so voracious in their eating that they actually drain her to death, leaving only her heart. They don't take her heart. But that's not much no. good. It's just a heart. No, and so this happens over a two-week period. Now, if between... So she, that must be excruciatingly painful, though. Well, I don't know if spiders feel pain in the same way that we do. Why don't we know that? We should know that, shouldn't but, we? So she can stop this process at any point up to five days because if a male spider comes along, he'll come and eat all her babies. So she can stop digesting her stomach, survive it, mate with him. Have more do babies. Do it all over again. Yeah. Genius. Of course, Genius. that does mean keeping the first lot of babies waiting for the rest for the rest well, of her body, but yeah. I suppose. Happy Mother's know. Day, hey. Oh, that's just vile, isn't it? That's a horrible story, Michelle. But thank you very much, because it's also fascinating. Science. We love stories. The movies have been designed like that. Um, Michelle Dickinson, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, nanotech scientist, back again very soon.